and so do you want to know what are the best strategies to actually grow a business online in 2020 I I imagine you do because you wouldn't be here so we're going to just show you a little bit of what uh and why you should even be listening to me right I mean you see my Facebook uh, profile you can see that uh, if you go to my page you can see that I have uh 4137 friends I post uh regularly I get you know some engagement uh, not not a ton because I I'm actually posting on all sorts of platforms you can uh I have a thousand seven hundred not a million subscribers so you know if you're looking for somebody who's got a million subscribers that's not me I go for you know the kinds of subscribers that are interested in my stuff and I'm not you know somebody who posts like hot chicks or whatever right which gets millions of views I just post stuff that has to do with online marketing if you go to my LinkedIn profile you can see I have like thousands of message uh, my so like you can see I have 14,000 connections I've got 497 connection requests which if I had time I would go through them and look at them if uh, we look at Pinterest for example if I go to Pinterest you can say I've got 4,000 followers five fifty six thousand monthly viewers you can see I get 1k views there's some see some of these are like six there's one 1k right there um I'm getting lots of views you know on Pinterest um <laughs> on the <laughs> actual uh sorry on the actual um it, videos I get lots of views on there and if we go to analytics you can you can see I don't get a million views but I got you know 197 page views in the last seven days and some of the blog posts is 35 30 20 15 uh, it's not huge numbers but I do I am scaling I'm growing and that's what I want to talk to you about so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so let's go back to Facebook so starting with face first of all the strategies to actually grow your business get some sales get some leads is all about attraction marketing personal branding and using social media in a way that allows people to get to know like and trust you right because people won't buy from you unless they trust you so if you have something to, if you have something to sell you're not going to get any sales unless they trust you unless they they believe what you're saying right unless they believe you're not gonna you know scam them or or take their money and leave or you know that they're not gonna lose their shirt right that's trust right so how do you get trust it's all about personal branding attraction marketing and what does that mean that means that you will can you will post regularly content that lets people know who you are so that they get to a point where they actually know you and they actually trust you right and that's that's a process it takes a little while and leaders talk about posting on one platform just a single platform and focusing on that and learning the platform I mean if I talk about let's just take to take Facebook for example right on Facebook there's lots of different things that you want to make sure that you do to be you know active to be the to do the right thing on on the platform so that people see your stuff so that people can get to know like and trust you if you don't uh engage for example if you're not commenting on other people's stuff you're they're not even going to see your stuff like you know I just posted this video here in this morning I don't I don't have a single like a single comment on it yet right is it because it's a bad video no it's not because it's a bad video well, maybe it's not that awesome it's it's just a share from uh, from my TikTok from Gary V but the thing is that the reason why I don't have any engagement is because I'm not that active and the reason I'm not that active is of course because I have other priorities I have other things I'm doing but I understand how it works so that's what I'm explaining to you right now so if you take a look at you know another post I did yesterday just to share as you can see there's no likes no comments by the way if you're watching this uh and you're listening to the audio you can go find me on Facebook you're gonna go find this video in uh at CIS 248 if we show you the link right here so cis248.jsgango.com that's 
that's the episode that's the live video I'm doing the live video I'm also creating a blog post I'm also creating an episode for <laughs> sound uh, apps right so iTunes Spotify Stitcher uh, iHeartRadio Alexa skills all that stuff has this on there right okay so that's uh, what you can find where you can find the actual video if you want to see the whole thing okay so and then if we look at this post we got 23 comments right that's quite a difference from nothing it's not like a thousand comments but it's still pretty good and how do I get those comments on there is not by uh, I don't you know I could message people and say hey can you check it out check out my profile that's not going to work people aren't interested in doing that you have to let the platform do it for you and the way you do that is by actually going to Facebook and scrolling through the news feed and looking at what people are posting and you know commenting or liking on their stuff this is an ad so I'll just so you know this is Michelle one of my friends she's talking about bullies that are emotional and immature yep and you know I can just say yep bullies bullies are no fun yeah so you know I can post something like this you know you look at something like this uh one stop allowing someone that's scared to death and turn everything on it will then you know once you stop allowing something to scare you to death it will then turn into the very thing that motivates you and I can just go like this I can say yeah that's that's true as long as we don't let don't let it win and then I just comment right so that's so engaging you gotta engage on other people's stuff and then the platform is gonna sort so why do I see these things on my news feed why do I see something from you know Leah Ray right here why do I see something from Lisa Marie why do I see something from Jason Lemire why do I see something from Brad Case some of them are similar posts to the stuff I usually engage on right like this Brad Case I don't even know who that is that's definitely one of my friends but uh you know I got 4,000 friends so I don't really know necessarily but if I look at some, some like Aaron Birch is something I always comment on this is somebody I I don't know um this is somebody I don't know either Ty and Hockman definitely all the time I comment under stuff and and that's the thing you'll see things based on the things you do do engage with so if you're constantly commenting on live videos you can see a lot of live videos in your feed right if you're constantly commenting on just text posts like this you'll see those on your page if you're commenting on pictures you'll see more pictures it's all about engaging and being active now that's the that's how you get people to see your stuff is by you being engaging on the platform we're going to talk about the other platforms in a bit but yeah so on Facebook that's the thing but you should there's a few things you need to do to to make sure that your profile and your your Facebook uh, world is right so a few things so first you go to your your profile right then what you do is you go under settings I they move things around so I'm not yeah settings and privacy if I go to settings right here there's a few things so first of all uh general that's fine just use uh, security and login your Facebook privacy let's just look at privacy see what they have there uh, important manage your profile <laughs> I'm trying to remember because they did move things all around but one of the things you want to make sure is you want to make sure that your posts are public actually that's not even well let's let's go to public post right here who can follow me so you can change that by default it's set to friends I think well maybe not but if it's not if it's set to friends right now that means that people who aren't your friends can't even follow you if you're building a business online <laughs> why wouldn't you want everybody to follow you you want people to follow you so that they see your posts right so you got to make sure this is set to public right the other thing is public post public post comment who can comment on your public posts this is another one you want to make sure that's set to public if it if it's set to just friends or in or, or turned off or whatever then people won't even be able to comment on your post so you got to make sure that's set to public public post notifications um I'm not sure that probably doesn't matter that much public pro public profile info who can like or comment your public profile pictures and other public info so that's again another thing you want to leave public um let's see comments ranking okay user okay what else is into important in here um 
face recognition that's actually something that I don't know how long it's been around at one point they asked me if I wanted that and I just said it to yes uh it's just if somebody else posts a picture with your face on it you're going to get a notification if Facebook recognizes you in that picture that's pretty pretty crazy right to think about that but you know at the same time it's a if it's a public pro public picture why not right anyways uh one of the things that I find is that pe some people who are worried about uh people seeing your stuff on Facebook I I the only thing I can say to you if that's kind of how you feel if you're worried about that you probably shouldn't have a Facebook page to post things right so you really want to make sure that you post only stuff that you want people to see if you if you don't want people to see something just don't post it because you know Facebook is a public company you don't even own the stuff right so anyways uh that's that's my take on that but that's so timeline and tagging you probably want to make sure um who can post on your timeline I I leave it at friends I guess it could be public but who can see what others post on your timeline everyone who can share your post their stories everyone tagging review okay so that's the general kind of make your stuff public whatever if I go back to my profile here <clears throat> one of the things you want to make sure is if, of course you're going to make sure your public your profile picture is this is is the same as a picture of you I I talk about all that in one of my ebooks I put together right the top 10 simple online strategies that actually attract customers and team members to you um you can get that from my blog actually let's just uh let's just show you if you go to my blog here uh jeansergegagnon.com my blog is jeansergegagnon.com right so you can go to that to that link Jean Serge, that's j-e-a-n s-e-r-g-e-g-a-g-n-o-n.com you can go to my blog right there and then on the sidebar you're going to find if you scroll down a bit you're going to find this this top 10 simple online strategies right there you can just click on that get that it's free it's 10 10 things that you need to do if you want to build your business kind of what I'm talking about right now okay so let's just go back to Facebook um so okay so there's a, a couple things about that but let's just kind of say one thing is when you're posting if you click on you know your what's on your mind right here right or if you're right on the Facebook you know timeline and you just click on what's on your mind right that brings up the thing to create a post right <laughs> so over here you have the option to say how do you post your profile it can be groups it can be your friends <laughs> by default by default it's set to your friends that means that whenever you post something only your friends will see it anybody who's not following you anybody who is kind of wanting to know who you are because they saw I don't know a post in a group or they saw a post on a page or something <coughs> they won't even be able to go see your post they won't know who you are so that's kind of like having a store with a with a, a window that's covered up right you can't even see inside the store you gotta actually go in the store before you can actually see what's there that's why they have these big windows in stores so people can see from outside maybe make them come in so for you it's the same thing you're building your business online you want people to be able to see your stuff you want them to be able to see who you are just by going to your profile whether they're your friends or not right so that's why you want to make sure it's public now the the thing about this is that once you set it to public the next post would autom automatically be public um so just remember if you're if you actually don't want to post everything to be public you got to make sure you set that each time to uh, something different if you want to change it right so that's one of the things uh, that I definitely highly recommend is make your post public okay so if I go to um I'm not sure you know I mean when we talk about strategies when we talk about growing your business when we talk about being able to you know get leads online right I mean it's all about connecting right so how do you connect how do you connect with people I mean obviously I'm I'm looking through you know people's stories whoops I guess it's I can on Facebook uh, if I go to LinkedIn you know there's stories now I don't even know if you can see them on the uh, I guess you can only see them on the phone but there's stories on LinkedIn too right and you get people seeing your, your stories uh on Pinterest I mean you can do things like create like you don't have to do ads but if you set up a business account you can actually go and create an audience 
that you will you can start building right now and you don't have to use it right now but you can look look I I created these audiences uh in August just to kind of capture people engaging on my post people clicking on my post people seeing stuff and they're at 30,000 people now so if I wanted to do an ad targeted to people who saw my stuff already which is one of the things that they really teach as to how to grow your uh, how to grow your uh, your audience right is 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 to re-engage them more, you know how in um, if you have ever heard of Eric Worre's uh GoPro book right the, the the book on how to grow your network marketing business it's really no different than any other business when it when it comes to to growing leads and getting customers and having potential prospects and all that right the idea is that a prospect will be much more willing to buy after they are uh, exposed to what you have to offer seven or more times right they say seven I don't know why they say seven but anyways so the the thing is that if you're posting content all the time and it's all different people every time that see stuff right then you'll never get that seven engagements you know seven uh exposures right and exposure means they see a video of you or they see a post of you or they see you doing something or talking about something so that they get to kind of recognize who you are and know who you are and all that right so what you want to do is you want to have something that they'll see now this is what these audiences are for if I look at if I go to my Facebook um uh, uh, Facebook I also have a Facebook um account there that I let's go to the business and if I go to the audiences here right um I have a bunch of audience I've been using this for a while but there's one audience that I'm building up right now which is basically people who viewed my videos and I'm not spending your money but you know I got this where is it right here so viewers viewers video viewers cis this one here 15,000 so I have so this audience here right I have 15,000 why is this why is this not come on just give me this okay so I have 15,000 people in that audience and that audience has been building I don't know what does it say one yeah created them in May right so I created and so what I do is every single in Facebook you kind of have to do it every single time you create a new video you got to go add it to the audience Pinterest is kind of cool because I don't need to do anything <laughs> as long as I post content this audience is already created to capture anybody who views my videos anybody who clicks on links anybody who who see like this one here I set it up to people who viewed my pins for my blog or people who watch at least 25 percent of my videos that's pretty insane look at that 20 I don't know how I don't even know how that's even possible that doesn't sound logical compared to if I compared to Facebook numbers right this is 27,000 people watch 25 percent of my videos I'm not really sure what that means or how that works but that's pretty insane right and that's only since August so September October like two months and something so, so if I was to create a campaign where I would spend I don't know five dollars a day or something or or do even just two dollars a day right where I, I promote a video or something in, in Pinterest you can promote a pin and make it go to only the people who have already engaged in my account they would keep seeing my stuff right so you wouldn't want to do that with one video just one you would want to do at least five or what well, probably probably five ten videos even right so you're if you have you were you need a budget right of ten twenty dollars a day kind of thing you can do that for just a few weeks or something just to kind of see what happens but you know that's that's kind of one of the ways that I get these these uh, people com coming to to my my blog post right I mean this is blogs and you know 245 247 244 242 246 243 they're getting some people clicking right they're going to it but the thing is that it takes a while for it to grow you know to a point where you get all these different you know things into your uh there's the ad account you know that that's what that's what you um but that's what you want to grow right is you want to grow people who are seeing your stuff people who are engaging in your stuff people who are act active people who are you know just that are interested in your stuff so how do you find these people right 
like this is one example of how you find them is by by creating content that they that they can engage with that they can see right that they can that they can uh remember oh this is the guy that I was said that I saw the yesterday talking about whatever if they clicked on something they the next day they already forgot right so what you want to do is you want to find content where they will be uh seeing you know like I said they will be seeing you more and more and more now if you don't have the money then that's the thing you got to be posting all the time you got to be posting every day and that's what I do that's why I post every day that's why I create content every day that's why I do these these uh <laughs> these this video right here this uh, this audio this this episode that I'm creating right now and uh I don't know if you know this but I actually I want to help you to build your online presence right I want to help you that's one of my goals I mean my main goal is I want to help thousands of people that, to grow their business online so how can I do that and how can I grow my business is by helping you grow yours right so what do you got to do to grow your business you can go over here to uh, clickycourse.com and you can use one of the tools I'm putting together right now which is called syndication if I go in here under syndication I can create a I can create a series you know for me let's say for example uh right create a new series I'm going to create a one that's called real talk right you can create a series then that then you have a whole set of, by default you know you can edit this stuff but by default you have a whole bunch of uh assets that get uh, created you can create a new asset if you want I want to import a video let's say for example trim uh trim uh, trim outro I want to have a trim outro I can go and find that in my uh videos here I just uh right here no that's not it it's the one right here with my voice I do this this is gonna upload it to the server after that it's in as it's available as, a, as an asset for the creation of all these syndication things but the idea here is that if I create a syndication I select a video here actually it's going to take too long to load up um, let me do that here on my other uh, new window new window so I'm going to go over to my server here because it's on on the internet already so I just have to uh, connect to it here let me show you so let's yeah let's show you what this is what this looks like so I I'm a geek right so I build these things online but I'm not I'm not building them for me I want to be able to use them right but Uh, actually I need to go to this other one I'm building this for me I want to be able to use it but I want I'm building it so that others can use it I want you to use it because it's going to help you to build your business online and you know if I go to this server here online uh, I can access this same page uh, right over here let's go here I go to my syndication I'm actually going to upload it right from here syndication right there and I'm going to actually select the same series we had right here I'm just going to create a new syndication here I'm going to upload instead I still there's still bugs in this obviously but let's just go to say yesterday's episode right so this is going to be the episode here the full video is and by the way this is the reason <coughs> what you see right there is the result of the syndication right so the creation of all the pieces like it creates a, a thumbnail for soundcloud some gif images the wave file for uh, soundcloud uh, uh the trimmed videos for for linkedin and for twitter and then a bunch of text files to uh, to create your post right this is uh so but if i take the video here and i upload it that would have taken a lot longer on the other on on my laptop because my laptop internet isn't that great right but so yeah so you you see this like this oh failed to upload that's interesting I don't think I've seen that happen before uh let's see now that's that's uh, uh-huh that's that's not good 
Hmm. Let's try it again. Well, it's probably not gonna work. Let's go to oh I know what it is. It's probably permissions on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got to fix something here. Let's go geek. Let's go all geek out here. And let's go to as you can see this is a real geek thing <laughs> so uh, uh let's go let's go to the server right over here and syndication oh no that looks right okay well I guess that's not it I'm not sure what happened uh okay so let's just um show you what it looks like uh in the in the test environment let's just go back to the regular browser here go back to the debug site load that up instead this one here well, unless I broke something uh should work fine so if I go back to this so the idea here is that once you set up a syndication if I go back to my syndication over here uh, I'm going to select my series uh, my real talk one I'm going to create a new syndication upload and I'm just going to go take a file it doesn't really matter which one let's go into one of these let's go to this one oh that's not the right video but anyways it doesn't matter oh it failed okay so I guess I must have broke something yesterday because it was working fine yesterday uh we'll have to <laughs> look into that but the idea is that once you have a syndication if I show you for example this one here I don't know why I have multiple ones there must be a bug there too there you go so if I have a syndication right here that's already done then what happens is you choose the video thumbnails you want so where are the thumbnails going to be in the video you enter the title the url and the publish date you enter the text from from the episode and then you in your generated assets you can see the generated assets for example I can see my Facebook post which would have the title and the text and then I can have uh for example I go back to the list here I would have for example <coughs> a um video thumbnail which would be the image that I can use to post in this case it's just a video like this but that kind of lets you and then you can just use all this and you can actually uh, download all the assets right here you just click on that it creates the zip file you download it to computer you save it and you get a folder with all these assets that you can then share to all the different platforms and you can choose whether you create a LinkedIn text file an Aweber text file a Twitter or Pinterest or whatever you just go into the series and you edit it and then you can you know set up whatever you want and the idea is that whatever you want to do whatever you want to post it's all the syndication is all based on one piece of content you start with one piece of content you just create this one video and and then the syndication takes care of creating all the rest and I know that that's something that lots of re, lots of online marketers struggle with because Th that's just what you see all the leaders doing right all the leaders they're posting everywhere they're posting on every single platform just like I am and you're like well how do I even do that how do I even have time to do that right it's kind of ridiculous to 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 think that you can post everywhere and create different content and all that and, you know until you have a team and you have thousands or millions of dollars to be able to spend on posting everywhere you have to do it yourself and doing it yourself is ridiculous you definitely can't be posting everywhere yourself if you're creating content for every single platform because creation of content <laughs> you know takes half an hour one hour two hours I even have friends that take four hours to create a video they record it then they do a bunch of editing and everything and they get a really nice looking video and then they share it to two platforms but they only have that one video they, they have to generate the thumbnail out of it they have to to create the text they have to cut the page they have to do this they have to all this syndication platform lets you do it all for you you just you just set the video and then create it if you look at other I have other um I have other 
episodes where I talk about this a little bit more where the, the there's no bugs like you just saw this morning here this uh, today but uh, if you want to be part it's like as you can see right here it's in beta it's still it's not something that's available uh, generally so if you go to clickecourse.com you're not going to see it as an option for example if I go into more right here there's syndication you're not going to see that on the main website right now because it's in beta but if you want to join the beta you can go here and you can enter a support ticket and you can just say join syndication beta right and just say I'd like to join I saw so I saw your episode uh two two which, which one is it 248 I think it is where's my mouse 248 I saw your episode 248 so by the way if you're listening to the audio make sure you go check out the video at ci at cis248.jsgagnon.com to go and watch the full video and read the blog post so I saw your episode 248 and want in on the beta by the way this is going to be a paid feature right now during the beta you get access to it for free and you get to to use it and and of course report any issues and 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 you know and that's kind of what this is uh this is what it's all about I need I need help for I need people to tell me what features they'd like to see I need I need people to test it out and find bugs and that's kind of what um that's kind of what that's all about right so I'm not sure what why was that there oh right I was uh okay yeah sorry I was on the other page right here so you would click on the submit right there that would create a new ticket and then I would get notified and then when I activate it for you you'll get notified too so that's what this that's that's what it's all about building content online producing your own your you know the best strategy to get leads online is get to get seen have people see you have people you know engage on your content you you got to engage on theirs you got to connect but you got to be creating content if you're not creating content <laughs> you know I I, I had this, I have this video here that I just posted actually let's let's uh let me just show you here I have this video that I just posted on my timeline and you probably just saw it but I'll, I'll just play it for you this is something from Gary V whoops let's just uh let's just turn my volume on here and let you see this so here's the video right here I'm actually just going to go the webcam the full webcam and I'm going to show you this on my phone because it's pretty relevant what do you think is more important when starting out on YouTube or Instagram do you think quality or quantity is more important Brent great question I think the answer is both but I would go with quantity Quantity gives you more opportunity to figure out what the quality is. So many of you are not posting because of your opinion, not what the audience actually So, even though I believe that the creative quality is the variable of your success, it is quantity execution that becomes the opportunity to figure out what the quality is. So yeah, so that's exactly okay, why. So that's exactly what's going on right Gary V is right on I mean I sure you gotta have quality but the thing is that if you don't if you don't start creating content you'll never learn how to do the quality you gotta do the and you know the more you do the more you learn and that's kind of how I see it and I hope you see it that way too and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.